What's up guys? Today is the day. Here at Mohawk Bend, we are at LA IPA Fest, one of our favorite events of the entire year. And let's check this out. I'm super excited. All right guys, just got in and time to hit the first beer of the day. Man, 60 plus IPAs here. Um, fucking impossible to choose. Just take a look at this tap list. It's fucking ridiculous. Hey, let me do a uh, little treat from Slice. Thank you. Little Trees from Slice Brewing Company. Super excited to try this beer. I've heard nothing but good things. Cheers. Wow, super, super well balanced. Just enough bitterness there. Um, a nice kind of um, bright citrus component to it as well. Pretty mellow on the tropical fruit, which is just what I'm looking for. I uh, feel like a lot of these beers might come in a little bit too fruity, and this one is kind of perfect. It's letting the uh, kind of hit the lemon rind citrus come through really well, and just got a great bitterness to it. So, uh, Slice Beer Company doing it right. We made it into the back room where all the judging is taking place, right back there. Uh, it's serious business here, 60 plus beers. They have to taste through a bunch of them and really push through the ones that they feel kind of exemplify the style, but also kind of make a mark on their palate. So everyone's got a different palate. Uh, it's a very difficult contest to judge, but if anyone's gonna do it, these guys are. It's some of the best brewers in California. So I'm drinking a Thousand Oaks IPA from uh, Tarantula Hill. Never had these guys before, so I was pretty curious about them. Also, the dude was like sitting right here, so I had to like. You know, I don't think he's there right now, but I had to go ahead and uh, get it. Um, but first impressions, it's uh, pretty bold up front, um, good hop profile, and then like there's like a there's like this like weird fall off with uh, like it tastes like a little warm and pretty dry, uh, almost reminds me of like a, a pulse when it falls off, but it's pretty solid. Drinking the offshoot, it's going to be fine. Uh, clear West Coast IPA, unusual for offshoot. Usually they do. A lot of hazies. That's all I know from them, actually. But it's nice. I mean, it's unusual to drink a beer from Offshoot that's not a hazy. That's got all kinds of like subtle, but yet forward hop notes. It's a it's a clean drink. It's a got a smooth finish. It's just kind of subtle for them, which is a departure from what I'm used to. But I like it. I like it a lot. What are we drinking? All right. So this is. Uh, Highland Park Competition IPA. Um, first taste is a bit aggressive, but then as you keep on drinking, it becomes a lot smoother. Um, tastes like a good West Coast IPA. Nothing too fancy. I have Factions Room 13 because Tony was waxing poetic about Faction and I felt like I had to try it. Uh, I will say my favorite of the day was so far was North Park, but uh, let's see, it was the world. I have to it's definitely a West Coast IPA, little tank. Got a really like smooth finish though. So I'm here for it. It's a good, it's a good middle, middle of my five years. All right, this round, I've got Becky from Ogo Pogo Brewing. I love these guys, obviously, love them. So, First impressions here. I haven't tried this. I like the nose. A little tropical. Kind of smells like it's going to be bitter. I like it a lot. Uh, bitter, really lemony. Really lemony. Um, a little too much. It's uh, 
could use a little bit of sweetness, but overall, this is pretty solid. Uh, I mean, the body's really light. It goes down super easy. I'm wondering what the ABV is on it. I would guess low sevens, because um, it's not pushing higher than that in my mind. But yeah, pretty good beer. Sal, what are you drinking? I am drinking uh, See You Later from Artifacts. Also, I have not tried this, so uh, here we go. For anyone who doesn't know, Sal is a hand model, so <laughs> if you want to zoom on the, in on the hands. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Wow, that... Sal, show us your hand. Amazing. Ooh, um, beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, up front, is, it's, it's, it's not too much. Um, in the body, there's like it's it's kind of fruity. There's like a dry finish towards the end. This smells. This smells like I feel like exactly what it tastes like. Um, I'm really enjoying this one actually. It's a little different. I feel like they're pushing a little bit more flavors here. This is the first time yeah. I've heard someone kind of bring up fruity, and I've been kind of looking for a more bigger fruit component for, on some of the beers I've tried. So uh, I may just have to steal a sip from you in just a little bit. So yeah, yeah, it's a little bit. <laughs> A, a bit of a sweetness to it, and, and like you know, a nice dry West Coast finish, like how it's supposed to be. I mean, it, it looks beautiful, it's super clear. So. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, dude. Yeah, I mean, you do have that um, tropical orange a little yeah. bit, yeah, a little bit of kind of candy fruit. Pretty good, yeah. I like it. Yeah, good stuff from Artifacts. So, beer number two of beer reviewing. Fern River, one of my hands down favorite California breweries. I am drinking California Lounge Chair. Comes at 6.4 ABV. Oh, uh, the last one? Are you kidding me? This is like shot <laughs> Bold statement. I'm going to say one of my favorites of the day. As you can see, it's definitely hazier than most of the other stuff we've been drinking, even though it's the West Coast. A little grapefruit towards the end. It's delicious though. I don't know if it's a West Coast, but I'm here for it. So it's good. And also, Drinking competition by Highland Park. You got to go with Highland Park just to sort of because they have they always bring so much amazing craft beers. But. It is classic, solid, um, super tasty, super smooth. I'm not sure if they be beyond it, but knowing Highland Park, it might be sort of surprising because they're always a super smooth. It's a seven, I'm told it's seven point percent, so this is definitely super drinkable, super delicious. Another killer Highland Park. Cheers. What else are you doing? The other is the Topa Topa. Peregrine Punch. Yeah. Very light. Very light, very clean, very clear, um, very refreshing. It, it's just kind of <laughs> dancing on the palate. There's not a lot of bold flavors going on, but it's it's got some subtle things that I'm really enjoying. It's a good one. First sip. Good job, I like it a lot. Cheers. So this is fall, uh, I love, and uh, all the liar. It's weird because initially it's really smooth, and then afterwards it's kind of like the flavor profile is intense after you swallow. So it gets hoppier after the fact. It goes down your, you know, throat. You okay. show us by taking a swig and seeing the reaction. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you how, yeah. it, how it happened. So. You're like, oh yeah, it's nice. Okay, okay, you know, like, it's sticking, it's sticking around. Okay, do what you like. Arrow Lounge Brewing, Covina, California. Time to taste it.
It's got a great juicy overripe orange component to it. It's just a touch of bitterness. It's not over the top. That sweetness from the fruit really kind of sits on your palate, sits on your tongue, and reminds you that like there's some body behind this. There's something that's going to like linger a little bit and remind you that you're drinking a West Coast IPA. Some of the other beers we've had have been a little bit smaller, almost session IPA-esque. Um, this one is not. Uh, I don't know what the ABV is on it. Uh, I'm guessing mid sevens, but uh, yeah, great color, nice and clear. I like that a little bit more like copper, burnt orange coloring to it, and it carries through in the flavor. Dig it, Aero Lodge, can't go wrong. I am drinking uh, Runner Up at Best from Claremont. Uh, so I've had a lot of Claremont beers. Almost every single one of their clear series releases I've had. I've had a lot of their hazy series. A big fan of Claremont. This one up front's really hoppy, super West Coast. Um, like, no denying that this is a West Coast beer. Uh, it's got some decent clarity. It's pretty good, super hot forward. I honestly think I like uh, some of their other offerings a little better. Uh, like Ridge Road, super good. Um, this kind of actually reminds me a little bit more of their, uh, their Claremont IPA. Um, but yeah, it's super hot forward, super IPA. You know, if, if you're an IPA fan, like for sure this is this is uh, floating your boat for sure. But it is good. So this is the green cheek pet the tiger. Uh, definitely got some hot forward notes on the first sip. Definitely like a a strong green cheek beer. They're definitely coming in with some big flavors for the IPA fest. Um, it lingers for a little bit on the tongue. Um, you're getting that bitterness that you would expect from green cheek. It's, uh, it's a good clean drink. I, I think it's a, a nice IPA. It's a good West Coast IPA. She's always, no, she's always a, a, a great counterpoint to my, to my first initial impressions. It's a good balanced IPA. It doesn't feel like it's too over the top. You're not trying to punch in the mouth of hops. This is a good one. I really like Green Cheek and Pet the Tigers is solid. So the other one I got here is the uh, Ellipsis Chief from Stone Liberty Station. I'm gonna do a little reset here real quick. So it's it's definitely got like a more of a mosaic feel. What I, more of what I expect from Stone. Uh, they're a complex brewery, but that seems like a nice submission to the festival. It's got some bite. It's definitely got some bite, which Stone is known for. You kind of feel it on the side of your tongue when you first take a sip. <laughs> Bright Intentions, Cellar Maker, San Francisco. God, I'm not getting anything on the nose. Let me try again. I've had too many IPAs. Let's go straight in for the taste. This is a much softer beer than a West Coast IPA should be, and the appearance here should give that away. It is most definitely got a slight haze to it. So yeah, definitely softer on the mouthfeel. It's got a bit of bitterness to it. Citrus, not a lot of fruit, a little bit of dankness to it too, a little pininess that I'm digging, but ultimately doesn't have that crisp bite and that clarity that you're looking for in a West Coast IPA. I don't think this one goes forward, but it is enjoyable. I will continue to enjoy it. This is El Segundo. 90245. 90245. No idea what the ABV is, but I did take a sip earlier, but that's a nice golden color. A little bit on the dark side, maybe, for an IPA. Let's give it a, uh, had a lot of IPAs today, so let's give it a shot. Super smooth, as expected from uh, El Segundo. Pretty bitter, sort of a, a bit of a bitter on the back end. Like after a second or two, it really sort of picks up on the bitterness. Uh, but sort of citrusy at the beginning though. It's really kind of a nice, balanced, a well-balanced IPA. I would definitely recommend this. It's a solid, solid IPA. All right, buddy. Best beer you had today? Offshoot surprised me. 
They did an American IPA that I love. I thought it was great. Let's get it. Best beer you had. Mine's a tie-up between the Thousand Oaks Tarantula here, Hill Brewery. It was really nice and crisp and clean. Then I really liked the fall and also, well, I that's not a tie. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's very good today. Mine was uh, 90245 from Elsa and Noah, but a very close second was a uh, thousand elks I paid from Trench and Go. Boom. Slice beer company. Trees, something with trees in it. Little trees. Little trees. <laughs> Little trees was a big beer and I enjoyed it a lot. Balance, 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 balance. So good. I also really enjoyed Little Trees. What a great beer. All right, we're in the crowd here. These guys are about to announce winners. Who brewed the best IPA? Let's find out in a sec. What do you think? I have no idea, but they're about to say it. It's very exciting. You've been drinking Saison's all day, huh? Saison's and Hefeweizen's and Pilsner's, and that's it. That's all I'm drinking. Did this guy brew the best oh, IPA today? It's hard to say, there's too many. <laughs> Third place, Boss of the Plains, Fieldwork Brewing. I don't think anybody came out, but we really appreciate you guys sending gear down. Uh, keep on doing what you do. All right. Second place. Is this was extremely close. I like that drum roll. Thank you, Paige. Some of you might know this beer. It's called Heal the Bay by Golden Road Brewing Company. First place. Sort of mostly dead. North Park Beer Company. Oh yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for drinking West Coast IPAs. Thank you for keeping the beer clear. Uh, we appreciate all of you. And once thank again, you. if you're a winner, head over to the fireplace. We'll see you guys Take in some pictures. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers! Highland Park. Yeah. That's what I'm drinking now. And I would say I would pick this beer out of all the other beers as far as the best IPA here. Fight me. All right, last beer of the day. Had to order one. Only the younger. IPA Fest. You were awesome. Cheers. Cheers. That's the way to end the IPA yeah. fest right there. Yep, yeah. that's it. All right, guys, that's a wrap. IPA Fest Mohawk Bend. <laughs> Shout out to the man right here, Andrew, for putting on such a great show. Thank you so much. Good beers. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. All right, we'll see you guys next year.